quick chemistry tip from Chem Help ASAP. So in today's tip, we're going to do a little bit of kinetics, and I want to specify the difference between the overall order of a reaction versus the order of a reactant. So I have a very generic reaction here. I've got A plus 2B plus C goes to 3D plus E. So the first thing I need is my rate law. Now this might be given to you, or you might determine it experimentally. However, I do want to point out that your rate law is not based on your stoichiometric coefficient. So it does need to be determined experimentally or, of course, just given to you in a problem. So our rate law for this reaction is rate equals K times A to the second times B to the third. Okay, so let's talk about the order for each of our reactants because rate law is going to give the order for all of the reactants. Okay, so for our order of A, this is just the exponent given for A. So the order of A is 2, the order of B is 3. So you're probably wondering what's going on with the order of C because I have three reactants in this reaction and I only have two reactants in my rate law. That is because the order of C is 0. So remember, anything raised to the zero power equals one. So there is an order for C here, even though it's not written in the rate law, because once you've multiplied by one, we don't tend to write that in the rate law. So if you're ever missing a reactant in a rate law, that means that that reactant, the order of it is zero. Okay, so those are the orders of all of our reactants. Let's talk about the overall order of this reaction. So how do we do the overall order for the reaction? Well, it's actually really simple. We are just going to add up all of the orders of our reactants. So for this reaction in particular, our overall order is just going to be 2 plus 3 plus 0 equals 5. So our overall order for this reaction is 5. Now, if you need more help, you can find me at Kim Help ASAP on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and at KimHelpASAP.com.